Hi, my name is Jeff Rozier. Uh, we're on Lake Barcroft in Falls Church, Virginia. Inside the Beltway, a uh, little hidden gem, electric motor only lake. Uh, when we, our realtor first brought us here, I didn't think uh, I'd be happy here that uh, I assumed this place was a washing machine uh, during the weekends and then he told us it was electric motor only and we couldn't be happier. It's uh, it's a beautiful little tranquil place that um, uh, it's hidden inside the Beltway and not many people know about it. The Torquitos have just been such a, a great addition to um, our life out here that the other motors that are out on the lake, they're just, it, I'm going to date myself here, but it goes back to the Jetsons uh, cartoon with their little family vehicle spaceship, the noise that it made, that's what the, all the other boats sound like going by. But uh, with the Torquedo, all the meat and potatoes is below the water, and it just makes it even more quiet than all the other electric motors out here. And it's just surprising how few of them they are on the lake. But um, it's, it's really been a, a pleasant surprise just how much quieter we are than everybody else, too, that you can... Most people don't even realize that, that we've got a motor going if they're wondering where the power and where we're going from because it's, it's really so quiet. And then um, not having the fumes is just, you know, super, super nice that you can sit at idle and or a low speed and not have all the fumes build up that you have with your typical gas motors. Yeah, it's, it's hard to believe that three miles an hour is where we want to be at speed wise. But uh, it, I mean, it's just so relaxing to be able to come out onto the lake. Uh, my wife and I will just grab a cocktail and throw the dog in the back and uh, just sit around, spin around the lake at three miles an hour. And it's it's really an enjoyable speed. You don't need to be going 15, 20 miles an hour to enjoy yourself out on the lake. And uh, with this setup here, sometimes six, seven, eight hours without recharging at three miles an hour and um, uh, have eight hours worth of enjoyment out here before you even even have to put a charge on it. Yeah, I've been in aviation my entire life, and this setup here is uh, more detailed than anything that we've got on our Boeing aircraft. I mean, it'll it tells you the the percent of of charge still remaining, um, the distance, speed. Um, it it does all your calculations. It's GPS. Um, the battery is GPS connected to the motor, so it'll calculate and tell you just how much range you have left if you. If you're on a lake that size, uh, this lake's two and a half miles long, so we always know where we're at, but it's just nice to really look down at the throttle and, and know exactly how much charge you've got remaining. It's a 48 volt system. It's the 48 5000, and uh, lithium is just, I mean, there's there's no escaping science. It's, um, it's the way to go with batteries, whether they're little batteries or big batteries. Uh, this thing is going to last me 10 years, 12 years, maybe even more, time will tell, as opposed to a lead acid, which I have two of those for my accessory motors, and or my accessories on the boat, uh, to include uh, you know lights and stereo and things like that. But I can tell you, just from my experience, in three years or four years, I'm going to be schlepping those 60-pound batteries uh, 75 yards up the hill and, and replacing them and then bringing the other ones back where this this one is still it's a year old and uh, it still charges to 100 percent and I think it's its decline is rated at two percent a year so even after 10 years I'll still be able to have an 80 percent battery on the boat and it'll be up to me whether or not I want to replace it it's um the charge lasts forever. Uh, they're built for this kind of this kind of application, that long draw, low low draw, and um, it's just it's been it's been great. 